My only goal for my life over the age of 60. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one, okay? I do hope you like, share, subscribe. The links are pinned to the top of the comment section below to all five channels. And if the links aren't working, just copy and paste, please. Thank you. Well, 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 what am I doing in the background? Well, I am getting ready to make a little bit of cabbage soup. Now, my family doesn't eat it. I eat it. I like healthy, healthy foods. And so I'm making a little bit of cabbage soup here and I'm going to dice it up in just a moment. I just got in from my five mile walk slash run because I kind of go between a walk and a run. And sometimes I'm running, sometimes I'm walking. It just depends. And um, so it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day out here today. Absolutely beautiful. And so, you know, one night I was sitting on the porch talking with my husband and I told this before. He asked me what my goals were for my life. You know, we ask each other, you know, things like that. And I said, you know what? It's not to travel to Europe. It's not because we've already done that, been there, done that. It's not to go to Hawaii. It's not trips. It's not buying a new car. It's not anything. It's simply to enjoy my day to day life and to be healthy. You know, with health, when you have health, you pretty much can enjoy life, pretty much so, under most circumstances. And when you don't have good health, it can be very uh, challenging at times to, you know, enjoy a whole lot of anything. And so over the age of 60, and I'm 64, my focus is on taking care of my body. Um, will things wear out? Yeah, I think that's just part of life and that's part of how things can happen. We don't want things to wear out. I talked about that in another video, but the reality is that things can wear out. And so that's why we have doctors or in other words, we can also do our own preventatives by taking great care of our body. So things don't work out, at least maybe not for a very, very long time. And so we can get through this life all in one piece, so to speak. Either way, the thing is, we want to be healthy. We want to feel good. When we feel good, we tend to enjoy what's around us. When we don't feel good, we don't tend to enjoy much of anything. So my big goal in life is to be healthy to the best of my ability. I know there are factors that we can't always control. There are factors that are out of our control, but the factors that are within my control, I want to control those factors. And so I want to do everything I can to take great care of myself, including making cabbage soup. And for my family, I'm going to make homemade spaghetti. They love my homemade spaghetti, but for me, it's cabbage soup and with a lot of garlic, a lot, lot, lot of garlic. And so this is the thing. Would I have a donut? Of course I would. Would I have a box of donuts? No. Okay. Like I talked about in another video, grandma ate the donut or grandma likes donuts. Grandma would say one little donut is not going to hurt you. You know, back in the days that I grew up, grandma had a donut, grandpa chewed tobacco. Now I'm not suggesting anybody go off and have a donut or anybody go off and chew tobacco. We all know the problems with tobacco. Um, a friend of mine was telling me today, we were talking about tobacco and she said she knew all about tobacco because she grew up on a tobacco farm. And she said tobacco back then didn't have all the things that it has in, in it today. And she said it was a much different quality um, that grandpa chewed than what's out there today. So maybe there weren't so many things in what maybe that's why he lived about a hundred and grandma lived to right around a hundred. I think grandpa was 99 and three quarters. Um, and so he lived a long life and he had chewed tobacco from the age of 10, but they overall did other things that took great care of their health. Did grandma have the donut? Sure. She had the donut, but she didn't have the whole box. And also back then the donuts were made a lot different. Um, I don't think they had all the things that donuts today have in it. And it maybe just had a little bit of sugar instead of a lot of sugar. And so, yeah, I think taking care of my health is my number, number one goal. And like I said, I can't control everything. Just because I take care of my health does not mean, you know, it doesn't, there's no guarantees, as grandma would say. And yet you're putting, you're stacking the deck in your favor or you're putting the, you're, you're, you're giving your best to it. And I want to give my best to my health by taking care of me. And so, you know, within moderation, you know, like I have my healthy cabbage soup, but you know, if there was a great dessert, if my husband and I 
go out for a drive and he wants to have a milkshake, I might have one too. You know, even though I'm primarily vegan, I um, on occasion will fall off the wagon and have something that's not vegan. And so I don't try to be perfect in my life. I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy it. So my really, my goal in life is to enjoy my everyday life. I don't have these great big goals like a lot of people because most of the big goals that I've had, I've achieved, I've done. And, you know, they were my personal goals for my life. And so now the things that are matter to me, that do matter to me, is staying healthy to the best of my ability and to enjoy my everyday life. Those simple simple pleasures of life, those simple things of life. That's what my life is about, okay? From my house to yours, may God bless you, and I hope to talk to you soon again, and do make sure to like, subscribe, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.